Hey guys, Augie Johnson, BallerBootCamp.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new move that you guys can use to step around defenders and finish inside to score more points. So, all right guys, let's check it out. Okay, so one thing that you need to master, especially if you're a guard, is what I call the last dribble principle. So this is something that I've noticed that a lot of players use, especially the smaller guards, to finish inside. Now what the last dribble principle is all about is just making sure that that last dribble that you take before you get into your two steps or before you get into your jump stop or whatever it is, you gotta make that dribble count. Okay, so for example, with this last dribble principle, here's just a quick look at what I'm talking about. When I'm driving, this last dribble that I take, I need to slam the ball, step off my left foot at the same time, and then get into my two steps. That way, I'm really able to maximize the distance that, I'm, that I can take with my two steps and I can do whatever I want with my two steps, okay? I can change directions with my Euro step or whatever it might be. Okay, so let me just show you what I'm talking about and really demonstrate how powerful this last dribble principle is with the amount of distance that I can cover by really pounding and slamming that last dribble. Let's take a look. Okay, so now that you understand that last dribble principle, which really the most important thing about it is that I'm slamming that ball off my left foot, okay? If I'm, if I'm dribbling with my right hand, I'm gonna slam that ball and then use my two steps. So once you've got that down, then you can start doing more advanced things, okay? So for example, this next move that I'm gonna teach you, this is something that you'll see Kyrie, Steph Curry, Westbrook, a lot of the guards that are elite finishers in the NBA, they'll use this exact move and this exact principle to score the ball, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use my two steps to, yeah, go a pretty far distance with those two steps as well as change direction and step around my defender. Okay, so let me just show you what it looks like and then I can break it down to more detail. Okay, so just real quick, a few things that make this, this finish awesome, okay? So, if I'm on a fast break or I'm in transition and someone's coming full speed, right? If they're coming full speed to block me on this side, if I'm able to, boom, you have them use their momentum against them, and change directions on them while they're going over here to block me and then get into my finish, I'm gonna have a lot better chance of not getting blocked because of the fact that the defender's sprinting. Now they have to change direction as well and they're not gonna get a good contest on your layup. Now, like I said, you wanna shoot this with a goofy reverse, okay? So when I come here, I slam. Now if I have a defender on me, and this move can be worked, this move can work against a defender that's right in front of you as well. If I penetrate hard this way, and then boom, change directions. But if I change directions on a defender, I need to make sure that I don't get this ball stolen. The hardest part is to get this ball to the other side without someone getting a hand on it. So I need to boom, bring it over the top, okay? One, two, and then get into my finish. Now, the most comfortable way that I think to finish is with this goofy reverse with my right hand. So when I come here, boom, one, two. In my opinion, this is a much easier finish because you're on balance, you're jumping off your left foot, and this is something you guys can practice and practice and practice and get good at. But sometimes you can't shoot that shot because the defender does a good job recovering. And boom, I'm gonna need to boom, jump here and finish with my left hand, okay? So what I teach my players to do on this, on this finish with the left hand is to switch the ball to the other side so that you can bring it back. Now normally, you don't wanna move the ball too much and expose it, but what's the most important thing is actually making the shot and scoring the two points, go. So, if we can't do that, then, we, then there's no reason for us to even try to take this layup, okay? So what I mean by that is, boom, I'm over here, one, two. Now, I, before I go up and try to finish with this left hand, I need to get on balance in the air, okay? Because I'm gonna be shooting the ball off the same foot that I jump off of, which is uh, a difficult, more high-level shot. So to get on balance in the air, to make this shot, I need to jump up, switch this ball to the other side, and switch it back so that I can actually have momentum swinging the ball up into my shot and get a spin on it, okay? So that's basically how this works. I'm gonna show it to you guys one more time full speed so that you can actually see me moving the ball and bringing it back. And then, like I said, at the top, you wanna put a little spin on it, put a little English on the ball so that it, it'll suck into the hoop, okay? If you put a, the right amount of spin, that ball's gonna hit that backward and just suck it right into the hoop, okay? So let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like one more time full speed.
All right, guys, I hope you guys liked that one. If you did, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe. New videos every Wednesday. Share this with your friends if you liked it. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. And most importantly, head over to ballerbootcamp.com. There's a, there's a link on the screen right now that you can click. Head over. I got a free workout for you guys that you can download, take to the gym, and follow to take your game to the next level. All right, guys, if you're on mobile device, click that first link in the description, and I'll see you guys inside that workout.